Okay, Assalamualaikum and very good day. So, today we're going to proceed with our new chapter, which is chapter 4. Okay, so basically in chapter 4, okay, we will learn about the general energy equation, okay, which is involved in a fluid flow system. Okay, so basically in this chapter, there are three outcome, learning outcome that uh, we aim you to achieve at the end of the lesson. And for your information, okay, the lesson for chapter 3 will be divided into three parts based on the outcome, okay. So, for today, we're going to cover part 1, which is the outcome is we want you to be able to identify and explain about the energy losses and additions, okay, in the concept of fluid flow system, okay. And for the next video, we will cover about how can we use the general equation for energy uh, for a practical problems. And the last part, we will cover on how we can compute the power and efficiency of a pump and other fluid motors. Okay, so let's continue with part one first. Okay, so energy losses or energy addition is commonly occur in a fluid flow system. Okay, so how can this phenomena happen? Okay, so basically there are various types of device or uh, condition that may lead to the energy losses or energy addition okay, in a fluid flow system. Okay, so for example, um, there might be the uh, equipment which is can add the energy to the fluid okay or there might be also a, a equipment which is can remove the energy from the fluid or there also a condition or equipment or devices which is can cause undesirable uh, losses of energy in a fluid flow system okay so we will explain later on uh, what are the categories of the equipment which is fall into these three different categories? Categories, okay. Okay, so the three phenomena or the three causes of energy addition or energy losses from the system of energy is summarized in this table. Okay, so I'll show to you one by one. When is the situation when the energy can be added? Okay when the energy can be removed and when energy is losses from the system okay so let's take a look at the first one first how can the energy be added okay so the common uh, devices or mechanical devices used to add the energy to the system is pump okay and we also know that this term is known as a total heat okay the ha things okay so how can this happen okay so basically, the pump is connected to the electrical power supply, okay, and then this power make the electric motor inside a pump uh, rotate the shaft, okay, and then the pump takes this energy and converts it into kinetic energy, in which that this kinetic energy will be able to deliver uh, the fluid, okay. So what will happen is we increase the fluid pressure, so that we will. Uh, resulting the fluid can flow better because we have more we apply more pressure towards the fluid okay so now let's take a look at the second condition in which that when the energy being removed okay so a similar like this uh, energy addition okay but for the energy removed okay the mechanical device is actually being used to remove the energy uh, by using a fluid motor okay so the example of the devices which is used to remove the energy is fluid motor and turbine rotary actuator and linear actuator so how can this thing happen okay so basically all of this device will be able to take the energy from the fluid and it will deliver it in a form of weight okay so, and then it causes uh, the shaft to rotate and then it makes a movement towards a piston, for example. Okay. And the last one, which is energy losses. Okay. 
for energy losses, there might be a two condition occur. Okay, the first one it might be due to the friction in a pipe. Okay, and the second may be uh, due to the warps or fitting that we commonly use in the piping system. Okay, so for the loss, which is losses which is happen due to the fitting. Okay, these losses happen when there is a change in velocity and when there also a change in direction okay which is slow down the flow and cause the friction okay and when there is a resistance on the flow okay so that's what lead to the friction sorry what lead to the energy losses uh, occur in a fitting or valve system okay but however for the energy losses uh, due to the fluid flow system okay it happened because of the friction between the flow and the pipe surface okay so all of this is actually um, relies or depends on the properties of the fluid and properties of the pipe and maybe the pipe size as well okay in this chapter okay uh, when we consider about the energy either or energy losses or energy removal from the fit for system okay so for this uh, condition okay we don't consider about the heat transferred into or out of the fluid okay so that's mean that the effect of uh, heat energy okay energy due to the heat is negligible okay in the heat uh, and so in the system okay And then uh, for the energy losses, okay, uh, from the system, the magnitude of this energy actually we can calculate it, okay. So since that we know that the energy losses, which is maybe occur due to the fluid friction or valves and fitting, okay. So basically, um, the magnitude of energy caused by uh, these two condition is actually uh, relate strongly or proportional to the uh, velocity head of the fluid okay so for that reason okay we can calculate the energy losses uh, due to these two condition okay by using this equation in which that in this equation we notice that is proportionally relate to the velocity head this is the term for velocity head in which that we already covered it in chapter 3 for Bernoulli equation okay so in order to calculate the energy losses okay we can directly use this formula okay in which that the k here is actually the resistance coefficient of the flow okay um, that's it for chapter one uh, sorry that's it for part one chapter four okay so we continue in the next video for part two chapter four thank you